Hi there. It occurred to me that what's missing in my life is a sawmill. So I had a bit of a look around and I uh, had a look on YouTube and I had a look on the internet and I had a look at what was going, what was available and weighed up the options. Came to the conclusion, my personal conclusion, that a swing blade mill will suit my needs the best. So, um, after checking out some YouTubes of homemade mills, I noticed that some people had commented that could you supply plans? How did you do this? What's going on there? So, uh, I reckon I want to make my own sawmill and uh, I figured I might as well document the process to help anybody else who is feeling the same way. Okay, so the basic criteria are it's got to fit in the back of my truck. I, it's one, I want it to be portable. There's my, the tray of my truck's three metres long, so it's got to be fit in there. Um, I want it big enough to saw large logs if I need. Uh, I've got a 13 horsepower petrol motor on my log splitter, which I'm going to use to start. I think that's probably barely adequate. Um, I've got a 425mm sawmill blade off a commercial mill, who should probably remain nameless. I bought that aftermarket from a uh, supplier of blades. Um, <clears throat> that should give me about a seven and a half, sort of almost eight inch cut. Uh, double that if I go back down the other side. I want a sawmill so I can make the benches for my kitchen. Probably the cupboard doors, um, furniture. I'd like to make a house one day. Um, I haven't got any plans. I'm just making it up as I go along, but I've got a pretty good idea in my head what I want to do. Um, the steel I want to use will be a 50mm square hollow section, 50 by 50 by 4mm wall. That fits real nice over 40mm by 40mm. Uh, that way I can use that to um, for the movable parts of the mill. Okay, so I uh, went down to the local seal shop. I bought two 8mm lengths of the 50-50 4mm one 8 metre length of the 40-44mm um, and one 7.5 metre length of this 25 by 25 by 3 mil angle. That uh, gave me enough to make a 3 metre by 2 metre bed. I didn't think that was long enough so I went and bought some more steel, another length of 50 by 50 but this time it's only 2.5mm uh, wall. That'll give me another 2 metres at the end, so five metres all up. I'm going to bolt that on the end here. I'm just in the process of um, doing that. A couple of holes through there and yada yada. Um, I'm going to use these these rollers here as the wheels. They're off a uh, they're for a, a sliding gate. They go on the angle here. Okay, so that should work pretty good. I've got those. I googled gate rollers. Come up with a place in Melbourne, Australia. Just ordered them online. PayPal, they turn up within a couple of days. Pretty good service. They've got everything you'd ever want. If you want to make a rolling gate, check them out. Okay, so that's the bed. I used most of the 40mm stuff making this. This is obviously going to have the wheels on the bottom, those grey bits. The wheels on there, they're a metre wide. Um, hopefully that's not going to topple over. It should be pretty heavy so it should be okay. The uh, rest of the frame is about 500 wide. The blade should fit in there pretty tight. Obviously you're going to need some safety guards on there. Um, that is 1500 high. 
and two metres wide. A lot of people use um, rollers and things to adjust the height of the bed. I went for uh, the same same way they use they make two post hoists, car hoists. Basically it's got a bearing on the top, a length of threaded rod. That's secured to the um, the table with uh, a nut on the bottom. Well, it's actually the top, a nut on the bottom. And um, and then down to the bottom here, another uh, another pillow block bearing. I put a couple of lock nuts here, locked them, so the rod won't fly, slide through. Obviously, it's got grub screws here, but just a bit of extra. These um, bearings are good for a fair bit of side axial thrust, so hopefully they won't all cave in on me. Um, this is going to go. Oh, there's the there's the uh, 50 mil through the 40. Another example of it here. Uh, that'll be the bed. It's all be on that. I'm going to run a chain pulley to the other side. I haven't finished that yet. I'm waiting for the bearings. So the way this works, I've got a uh, nut on top. I'll probably end up using a 12 volt winch motor. I've got like a 3,000 pound winch. I'll probably whack that on there with a reduction wheel and another little chain and something. I tried an uh, electric window winder out of the car, it worked, but it was pretty slow. In the meantime, this baby, this is the basic idea. Right it's um, probably a little slow, but I like it because it's, you can get very fine adjustments and locks in where you leave it. I'll probably put a, a nut with a hole and a bolt, just double lock it. I guess you don't want to move them on you when, when you least expect it. Another thing I did was I uh, made a spanner, special tool for getting these suckers. Obviously um, that's a little tricky, but uh, it's very neat. <laughs> 